fifth birthday, attending a mass at Westminster Abbey. And with just a week until the royal wedding, it was a good practice run for the big event. It may have been her birthday, but the Queen was the one handing out gifts at the Maundy Mass, a pre-Good Friday tradition at Westminster Abbey, where her grandson will get married next week. The church looked immaculate as the congregation sang God Save the Queen, who turned 85. I can't wait to get home because my mum's in English and she's about the Queen's age, so she'll be static to know that I yeah. saw the Queen. This is the first time the Maundy service has been held at the Abbey in 10 years. That's because today's event is being seen as a bit of a practice run for broadcasters who are getting ready to film the wedding. At the Victoria Barracks in Windsor, Irish guards are put through their paces. Oh! These soldiers, who just returned from Afghanistan, have been fitted out with new uniforms and will provide the Queen's Guard at Buckingham Palace. They'll be on show in front of two billion people, so everything must be perfect. The standards we expect um, in Afghanistan and the standards we expect on the forecourt of Buckingham Palace are exactly the same. Excellence in both. It's harder than it looks, marching in the heat, wearing thick outfits, as this young man found out, kept standing with the help of a master tailor. He was led away for a glass of water, hoping it's a bit cooler next week. And Peter Stefanovic joins us now live from London. Pete, exactly a week to go until the big day. What's left to organise? Well, Wendy, now that the Queen has officially given her consent, the wedding between Will and Kate can go ahead, which is a good thing. As for security, well, that's a bit of a work in progress. You've got the majority of the world's media who will arrive here over the next few days. Then you've got thousands and thousands of fans who will come in after that, and that will all need to be controlled in some capacity. And, Wendy, finally, you have the world's best-kept secret, the wedding dress that nobody seems to know a thing about. Can't wait to see it. Thank you very much for that, Pete.